Who would you hire if you were out there and you were John Elway or you are Justin Bennett? Who would you hire as the coach? Right now with what's out there? Uh, well, I heard you guys talking earlier about Gase. They're not going to hire Gase to be the head coach. They could bring him back as a coordinator. But the dynamics are already set in that arena for Denver. You know, I, I see a very... You know, usually when you fire a head coach, you never hire from within. It's very rare that you see that happen. Uh, Were you in Detroit with Terrell Austin? No. Because they're interviewing him tomorrow. Yeah, I wasn't. And he's the D coordinator for Detroit, correct? Right. That would be interesting to me to just see them. I think if you made that guy the head coach, you'd almost have to bring Gase back because Gase and Peyton yeah. are a package deal. Continuity. Well, and, yeah. and did you say it? Or Austin wants to take Gase yes. with him if he gets yeah. there. Wherever okay. he goes, Gase, he wants to take Gase. Gase is a brilliant mind in the NFL. Great guy. Everyone highly respects him. You know, Adam's a yeah. great guy. You know, it goes without saying. Um, you know, and I know he's doing interviews everywhere. Who knows where he'll end up? Or if he just may be a new co coordinator for another year and he stays here, who, who knows? But, uh, He's a brilliant mind. I'd say another guy that has a brilliant mind like that is McDaniels. Yeah, you know, I know that's a sore subject. In Wait a second. Wait a second. But Josh is one of the brilliant. Hold on. He's, I get three he's a brilliant timeouts every half. Mind. I'm using one of them right now. Okay? <laughs> he is. Yeah, are you saying that they should think about bringing no, no, Josh no, no. McDaniels no, back? You, you know that's never going to happen. Not in this but state. But you think somebody I'm should give him another I'm just saying, as show. far as a brilliant offensive mind out there, I would say Josh and Gase would be the two. Okay. But you're not advocating he come back here. No, I, I don't frankly, think he'll, if he you wouldn't want to come back here. I might call the state <laughs> patrol right now and tell him to set up barricades. Yeah, that's all not right? going to happen. We all know that. <laughs> he's got a mouthful. Yeah. All right, so uh, let, let's go to Adam Gase again since, since he's our, our hot topic and the big stuff today. Mm -hmm. The Broncos are not going, you said it, the Broncos are not going to hire Adam Gase to be their head, head coach. Um, do you think? And, but you've also said that you think he's brilliant. You think he's going to be a great head coach. Do you think they're making a mistake not hiring him? Well, I wouldn't let him go, you know. Uh, so you want to keep he, him as a coordinator? He has his right to go be a head coach somewhere. But if he's not getting that job, I definitely wouldn't let that guy go. Well, they talked. And, and I, I would just say this. Another thing I heard was that when John and John, both the Johns, said to Adam Gaze, Hey, we want you to run the football more. And he his response was, every play. And that kind of kind of set him off from those. They, they thought, well, this guy's brilliant, and he's kind of answering that. But I think he was probably saying, really? You know, kind of yeah. like that. Because he told me, after that occurred, in a long conversation we had, he said, we really want to get to the point of 60-40 pass. And, and I agree with you. I think that screwed up. Peyton Manning's rhythm, and then you have the injury, and you yeah. have that going on combined with the injury. You tweak his confidence, and when you tweak that a little at that level, the level that Peyton's at, or any player, especially at the quarterback level, I'm not saying he, he wasn't didn't have his confidence or whatever, but like if you just tweak it a little bit, you know, it just takes that much to really throw the whole machine off, and that was my perception looking at it. I don't know what you guys think, but... It just seemed like it just, ever since they went that route, it kind of wasn't you. the same. I agree with Not only was his rhythm off, he seemed really unhappy about the whole thing. Well, right? we're, look at Gase. He can't win, right? So yeah. he's got to either run the ball a bunch, yeah. then he's he's the closest guy to Peyton. So now he's got to, I guarantee there was backlash coming back from Peyton to Adam. Sure. And you get caught in the middle during that. And, you know, John probably sees everything from quarterback's eyes, so he sees it from Peyton. But whatever happened, someone had to pay the price for it for losing that game. And... Fox had to pay the price.